For this week's Pro-Life Focus, we introduce you to a UK author and bioethics expert who says not only is pro-life feminism possible, it is vital. Fiorella Nash is a bioethicist and author of The Abolition of Woman, How Radical Feminism is Betraying Women. In the book, she outlines how feminism should embrace a pro-life ethic to make a powerful stand for equality for both women and the unborn. And joining us now from our EWTN Great Britain studio in Walsingham, England, is Fiorella Nash herself. Fiorella, thanks for being here. Pro-life feminism is a really interesting and ongoing conversation happening in pro-life circles today. So first off, how do you respond to those who say pro-life feminism is a contradiction in terms? I hear that a lot. And I think, unfortunately, we've become so used to the idea, to the lie that abortion empowers women that a lot of people are just not prepared to question that. But what I say is, Abortion is the ultimate exploitation of women. It has always been a tool of exploitation. And pro-life feminism is authentic feminism. Mm. You say pro-life feminism can be a powerful way forward for protecting vulnerable human lives. Why is this approach especially effective? I think it's important to try to peel away those lies that say that to be pro-life is to be a misogynist. I find it a ludicrous notion that opposing abortion is in any way attack on women because in the end, I've said that abortion is exploitative. I feel if more women get behind the pro-life movement and if feminists particularly come behind the pro-life movement, I feel we can really see some really big changes. I'm very mindful of the very good work that a lot of men are doing in the movement. I don't in any way want to suggest there's a problem there, but I do feel that this is a battle that must be fought and won by women. You know in your book it's always been the role of feminism to question the status quo. So why do you think we're not seeing that when it comes to women in the pro-abortion movement? Well, I think there are concerted efforts to stop women from questioning abortion rhetoric within feminist circles. Certainly women I know, and I have had this experience myself, who do question abortion tend to be vilified, bullied, pushed out of the movement very, very quickly. And it's a recurring problem. So I think that is a very major difficulty. But really, my book isn't just a way of um, challenging mainstream feminism. I'm also asking mainstream feminists, radical feminists, to come together and to open up this conversation because I think this is something we should be talking about in a respectful way. Mm -hmm. There's this common claim that if abortion becomes illegal, women will be driven to back alley abortions. Mm -hmm. But you say that's unwitting misogyny. Can you explain how? Well, my feeling is, first of all, a lot of those arguments about backstreet abortion or back alley abortion are based on false statistics. Bernard Nathanson admits that they simply made up the numbers. Similar admissions have been made in Britain and other European countries. So that whole argument is based upon a lie, certainly a fabrication of the evidence. But first and foremost, it's a council of despair. It's saying women with the right resources, with the right support, can't possibly be expected to find positive solutions mm. to an unexpected pregnancy. And what I'm saying is we should, instead of being so negative about women, we should be ensuring that women have the support and education they need to carry a baby to term, to explore the options, for example, adoption in some cases, but that ending a human life is never a solution, and it need not be a solution. There are always positive alternatives if women are given the opportunity. In your opinion, what are practical ways the pro-life movement can better embrace pro-life feminism? Well, I think there needs to be certainly more 
understanding of the female experience, more understanding of the situations in which women do find themselves in unexpected or problem pregnancies. I think there's a lot of help already there within the pro-life movement. I'm very impressed, for example, by the number of crisis pregnancy centres you have in the US. I think that's a very, very positive step. But I think we need to go a lot further with that. And I think we need to encourage pro-life women to be a lot more proactive. I think many women are intimidated by the constant message that you're not a real feminist if you support the pro-life movement, you're not a real woman. But we have to be prepared to stand up and say, no, you don't promote abortion in my name and really need to get ourselves out there. I was really delighted to see a pro-life feminist group at the Women's March some years ago. They were banned from coming, but they went anyway and they stood at the front of the procession with their banners. That's the sort of proactive pro-life feminism we need. That's the kind of empowering message we need to give to women today. Thank you for your empowering message. Fiorella Nash, author of The Abolition of Women, How Radical Feminism is Betraying Women. Thank you. Thank you.